All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to create a block. All right, and it's so, super simple. We're gonna say class block, and then inside we're going to create the constructor method. This means the function that gets called every time we create a new block. All right, so I'm gonna say constructor here, boom. And I'm gonna uh, create a block with the index. The block has an index, has a hash, has a previous hash, also has a timestamp, and has some data inside of it. All right, now, the constructor is going to assign the index, right, oh, sorry, here we go. This hash equals hash, this previous hash equals previous hash, that's no problem, this timestamp equals timestamp. This is just all the um, information that we're going to give to our block when it is created, all right? And then we're going to save it inside of the block, okay? So this is all the stuff we're going to pass later. We're going to do something like this, new block, index one, hash, or la, 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 stuff like that. So we're gonna save them when they need to be saved. All right, so we have the block structure now, what is a hash? Basically, a hash is a function, a mathematical function that takes an input and spits a random output, okay? Now, if the input changes, the output is, of course, going to change. So just let me show you real quick here. Hash 260, this one, uh, online. Perfect, so if I type a text, hello, look at the random output that I have. That is a hash, right? And now if I say, hello, baby, it's a completely different uh, output, okay? So this is, um, this is basically a hash. It's just a random output from a mathematical crazy function that takes our input. Now, what we are going to have on our block is that we're going to say something like new block, right? And we're going to say index one hash. Um, we don't know yet, but we're gonna say previous hash we don't know yet, but with timestamp pa, 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 and data is going to be something like hello. All right? Now, if we, for example, let's say this is zero and this is zero. If we take this hash, let's copy this, paste it. If we take these contents, right? and we just paste them here, you will see the output. So all the data that I just put, that is the hash, all right? Awesome, that's great. So now this one, it's now part of our hash, boom. Okay, now this is the hash of our block. Now, if I create a new block, let's go, let me copy this. Instead of this previous hash, I'm going to put the hash that is before. All right, so this is the hash of the previous block, and now this is a new block, all right? And if you look at it, it gives me a different hash, all right? And I'm gonna take this hash, and I'm gonna put it on the block, and then I am going to make another hash, a new hash in a different block with this hash. So this is how the blockchain chains the blocks, by hashes, all right? Remember, if you change anything, anything from the input of a hash, of a, yeah, of a hash, is going to change completely the hash, all right? So if I move here, instead of hello to, uh, instead of hello to hello, the hash changes completely, all right? And if this hash changes completely, then this means maybe that the next um, block that is there is going to look at the previous hash and is going to be invalid, okay? So, maybe this is hard to understand right now, but we're going to implement it very, very soon. All you have to remember is that hashes is how we take information, a lot of information, we put it inside of a function, whatever it is, it's a magical function, and it's going to spit a random output, all right? Now, if in the next block, 
we say we make a reference from the new block to the old block then it becomes a blockchain this is going to make more sense and it made more sense to me when i created the blockchain all right but this is the first step in how to create the blockchain you have to create the block first now maybe you're wondering in the data here is when we're going to include all the transactions all right so uh stay here don't go yet keep watching i will see you in the next video when we're going to create our first block and the blockchain see you soon